Thanks, guys, and thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to have partnered with Embarcadero to include Castalia with Rad Studio XC7. I'd like to take just a few minutes and show some of the tools that Castalia adds to Rad Studio XC7 that help you write better code faster, understand existing code better, and improve the design of existing code. The first thing I'd like to show is Castalia's advanced syntax highlighting. Castalia actually changes the way the code editor displays your code, adding some new smart highlighting that helps you understand your code better than ever before. Castalia adds structural highlighting to the code editor. These colored lines link a begin keyword with its corresponding end and show you the structure of your code. Different colors help you see different nesting levels within the code, helping you to keep long blocks of code or deeply nested loops of conditionals straight. Let's see. Another smart syntax highlighting tool that comes with Castalia is flow control highlighting. Normally, the code in a procedure or a function executes linearly from top to bottom. Object Pascal has some language features that can alter that linear flow, however, like raising exceptions or the exit procedure. Castalia's flow control highlighting places a small graphic on any line that might alter the flow, the linear flow of your code, so you can quickly see the special places where your code might be interrupted. Here you can see all of the flow control icons. Obviously this procedure is meaningless, but you can see the different icons that Castalia uses to highlight places where the linear flow of your code might be interrupted. Things like exit, continue, and break, or raising an exception. Next I'd like to show you Castalia's navigation toolbar. Castalia puts this toolbar above the Rad Studio code editor that adds some great code navigation features. But right now, I just want to focus on these two drop-down boxes right here. This one lists all of the classes that are defined in the unit you're editing, and this one lists all of the functions and procedures or methods. If you double-click on one, the code editor moves to that point in the code. If you know the name of the item that you want to navigate to, you can just type a few characters of the name, and the navigation toolbar filters the available options based on what you type. Again, you can click or hit enter to jump to that point in the code. You don't even have to type the first letters of the name of the function. Any part of it will do. For example, to navigate to the form create method, I can just type CR, and Castalia will filter to the right place. Uh, the navigation toolbar even under understands camel case. So this unit has a procedure called set edit rect, where the S, E, and R, set edit rect, are capitalized. So watch how typing only those capital letters brings up the set edit rect procedure. I hit enter, and the cursor goes to that procedure in the code. The navigation toolbar is a two-way tool. So not only does it let you quickly jump to any class or method in your code, but it will also show you what class or method you're currently working on. As the cursor moves through the code, the navigation toolbar updates to show you what part of the code you're looking at. Here you can see the navigation toolbar updating as I move the cursor to different parts of the code. Here it says setup ruler. If I move it into set edit rect, the procedures drop down has changed to say set edit rect. You can see it moving down. The next tool I'd like to show you is called prototype synchronization. When we write code in Object Pascal, we often write the prototype or signature of a function or procedure in two different places, once in the interface section of the unit, and then again in the implementation section. So here's a method, example one of this class. It's defined here in the interface, and then down here in the implementation. I want to add a parameter to this method. Normally, I'd have to type the new parameter in both places, here in the, in the implementation and here in the interface, or I would have to copy and paste or do something twice. But Castalia's prototype synchronization saves me from having to do the same thing twice. I can add the parameter, changing the prototype once, and then when I press shift Control s the changes that I made are automatically copied to the other declaration. So you can see I typed it here and used prototype synchronization to copy those changes up here. It works both ways. I can add this, add another parameter in the interface section and hit Control Shift S 
and the implementation section gets updated. You can even change a function to a procedure or vice versa. So I'm going to change this procedure to be a function and we'll have it return a string. And again, just pressing shift control S synchronizes both prototypes in both the interface and the implementation section. So prototype synchronization is a powerful tool that saves you time and hassle when you're working with object Pascal code. Um, another tool that can save you, save you time and hassle is inline variable declaration. So when you're writing Delphi code and you decide you need to add a variable to your function or your procedure, you usually have to move the cursor up here to the, the var section, adding if it, it doesn't, if it doesn't exist, type in your variable declaration, and then go back and pick up where you left off. This can interrupt your, your mental flow as you're writing your code. So Castalia lets you type in your variable declaration anywhere in the body of the procedure. So you just type the word var followed by your variable declaration. When you hit the space bar, Castalia automatically adds the variable to the procedure and replaces the variable declaration you typed with the name of the new variable. We'll do another one, we'll add a, a string. So I type in the variable declaration, I hit the space bar, Castalia automatically adds the variable and lets me pick up where I left off. Inline variable declaration keeps your, your var section clean too. If you add a variable of the same type as an existing variable, so here I'm going to add an integer, another integer, it merges the declarations, so it puts both of those integer variables together in the same declaration. So it keeps your variable section short and clean. One last thing I'd like to show is Castalia's smart keys. Castalia changes the behavior of some of the keys on your keyboard. For example, everyone knows that pressing the home key in your code editor moves your cursor to the beginning of the line. So here, the cursor, press home, move it to the beginning of the line. With Castalia, pressing home again a second time moves the cursor to the beginning of the line after the indentation where the text or the code on the line actually begins. Pressing home repeatedly moves the cursor back and forth between the beginning of the line and the beginning of the text on the line. Another smart key is the parentheses key. Here's a common scenario. You have a conditional of some kind, uh, something like this. Zero. So you have a conditional, and as you're working on your code, you realize that you need this conditional to have two parts connected with an and. In Object Pascal, these two parts need to have parentheses around them in order for this expression to work properly. So with Castalia, I can just highlight one part and type in a left parentheses, and the highlighted text will be surrounded with the parentheses. one keystroke to surround a selection with parentheses. And this also works for, um, uh, for brackets, like for array indexes, or also for, uh, for braces, which are used for comments as well. Let's look at one more smart key. Suppose I decide that I want to comment out this whole block of code. I can select the whole block, and when I press the slash key, the whole block is commented out with line style comments. Pressing the slash key again removes the slashes and uncomments the code. So I can use the slash key to toggle whether a block of code is commented or not. It looks like I'm just about out of time, but since this session is all about VCL modernization and updating VCL projects, I want to do, uh, I want to show you one more thing that Castalia does for the VCL form designer. So we've all had forms that are cluttered up with non-visual components like these. Most of the time we want to see them, but sometimes when we're working on the user interface of a form, we'd like those non-visual components to disappear for a little while. Castalia can do that. I go to the Castalia menu and select hide non-visual components and the components just disappear from the form. Notice that, or note that they're, they're not deleted, they're still there, they're just hiding. We can bring them back with the show non-visual components menu item. 
So hiding the non-visual components so that you can focus on the user interface design of your form is another feature that Castalia adds to Rad Studio XE7. So that's all my time for today. If you like what you've seen in Castalia for Delphi, you can get all this and much more free for a limited time with Rad Studio XE7. David and JT, now back to you.